Hey y'all, I'm James Wright, and welcome to my shop. Today, I'm gonna to tell you why every single one of these oils will go rancid, and that's a good thing. There is a lot of misinformation about finishes for woods, particularly oil finishes, and then particularly once you start getting into food safe oils and finishes. And today I want to talk about a lot of those. Post edit add in. If you really wanna see a good video on food safe foods, take a look at Stumpy Nubs. He just did a video on it, it is phenomenal. I'll leave a link to it down below. Let's get back to that. The problem with that is anytime you start to talk about anything to do with finishes, you start making arguments. And there are going to be a lot of people who will heavily disagree with me because this is one of those touchy subjects. But I'm going to talk about facts. I'm actually going to talk about things that have been researched and studied, and if you want to see links to research papers and journal articles and books and all sorts of resources on the actual topic, I'll leave a link to those all down in the description down below. There's a lot of misconceptions about finishes, and today I wanna to talk about the particular topic of going rancid. Now, to many different people, rancid means many different things, but the actual definition of rancid is that it is no longer useful for food use. Now, that doesn't mean that it's dangerous or will hurt you. It means that either the texture has changed, the color has changed, or the flavor has changed. If any of those happen to an oil, it has gone rancid. In the food world, that is bad because flavor is everything. But in the woodworking world, flavor really isn't that important. And we actually want our finishes to go rancid. We want the texture to change. We want them to polymerize. We want them to harden and become a material that doesn't wash out of the wood very easily. And that is what pretty much every finish on the market does. It goes rancid. That's what we call curing. In the science world, it's a little bit different. In the science world, it's very clear that there are three possible ways that something can go rancid. An oil or a fat have the capability of going rancid in the way of a hydraulic rancidity, which is a change in the flavor or the color or the smell. You can have an oxidation rancidity, which is what we want, which is polymerization. Or you can have a biological rancidity, which is the introduction of bacteria or other biological agents. And it's that last one that really confuses woodworkers because we consider that, oh no, my oil is going to go rancid, that means that bacteria is gonna get into it and it will kill me. And that's not really the case. Let me explain. You see, bacteria can get into anything. It can get onto steel. It can get onto stainless steel, it can get onto plastic, it can get into wood, it can get into our finish, it can get into our hair, it can get into our skin, it can be in the air we breathe. Every one of those can have bacteria getting into it. The way you fix that is you clean it. Soap. Disinfectants, they get rid of it, and it's right back to where it was. And it's the exact same with finishes. We have polymerization, which basically makes the surface just as susceptible as any other. Now, if you don't clean the surface, yes, there will be bacteria there that will cause harm, but it's the same with any other surface in the kitchen. And here's the rub where it comes to woodworkers. You'll hear a lot of people saying, well, mineral oil doesn't go rancid. And that's very true, mineral oil doesn't go rancid. Mineral oil is one of the few oils that will stay in an oil state. It doesn't polymerize, it doesn't change in color, it doesn't oxidize, but you can still get bacteria in your mineral oil, so it can go rancid in that way. And in the same way, it can get bacteria in any other oil you use. But most every other oil, whether it be vegetable oil or olive oil or boiled linseed oil, those will go rancid because they will polymerize. And that's what you want in a woodworking finish. There are a lot of great woodworkers out there who will tell you, don't ever use vegetable oil, don't ever use olive oil, don't ever use linseed oil or any of the peanut oils and uh, walnut oils for food items because they will go rancid, whereas mineral oil won't go rancid. You should definitely use that. And honestly, that is a gross mixing up of the facts. And it's something that has been passed down from generation to generation. It is from the woodworker who knows a lot but hasn't really done the science on it and they've heard it and they pass it on to the next people and then you hear it from someone you know and trust and then you pass it on to the next person. And I have to say, this, is, this has got to stop because it is not true. It is a misunderstanding of the facts. Yes, olive oil, vegetable oil, linseed oil, they go rancid. 
that's what you want. You want them to polymerize. You want them to become a little tougher in the wood so they don't wash out quite a bit. That's one of the downsides to a mineral oil is that it stays as an oil so it's constantly washing out of the wood. Now these will wash out of the wood. They don't become hard or give you a film finish, but they will last a little bit longer. And no, they don't harbor bacteria any more than mineral oil or the wood itself. This then brings us into the whole other topic of food safe finishes. And I have to say food safe because that's a really subjective thing. At what chemicals, what changes do you think are food safe? I mean, we think of mineral oil as the holy grail of food safe. This is one of the most processed oils of any that we touch. This is a byproduct of the gasoline industry. Yes, this comes from crude oil. That's where mineral oil comes from. Whereas things like olive oil, you know, you get a good bottle of olive oil, it is crushed olives. That's about as food safe as you can get. So I want the woodworking community in general to rethink what is food safe and what is going rancid and all of these terms that we use to immediately discount one finish over another one. We really need to take a, take a step back and understand what is going on, understand the science behind it. And that's why I want this to be very science-based. I have all of the links to a whole bunch of journal articles and papers and books on the subject that will talk through what is going rancid. So next time you see someone saying, oh, don't use that oil, it'll go rancid, you might wanna ask him, what do you mean by going rancid? Because I think we need to have a greater conversation in the woodworking world about this. So I'm sorry, this has probably opened up a huge can of worms, and I know a lot of people are gonna say, but, but so-and-so says don't use that oil because of one thing or another. Honestly, I have to say, the reason they're saying that is because they heard it from someone else that they trusted. And they heard it from someone else that they might trusted. And it, it kind of makes sense that if it's a food oil, that it can go rancid more than a mineral oil. But in all honesty, they all go rancid and we want that. And all of them are susceptible to bacteria. That's just part of being alive and being a thing. Now, I don't want this to start arguments. Discussions, great, this is fantastic. Um, but honestly, go read through some of those sources and, and see the science and the studies behind this. It is one of those topics that I think we need to research a bit more in the woodworking community. So I hope you like this. I know I started a whole bunch of arguments and I'm sorry for that. Maybe sometime I'll start talking about some of the other things that we can have arguments about. But I think this is one of these topics that we need to have a discussion with in the community. So thank you for that. If you do have any thoughts, comments, ideas, snide remarks, arguments, let me know those in the comments down below. It's going to be a lot of fun down there. Also, I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon and members on the channel, everyone who's scrolling over on the side. Thank you for that. You are the ones who've given me the opportunity to actually do some research into this and to do a lot of reading on the background for this. Uh, it's been a fun one. So thank you for everyone. Uh, without you, this channel would not exist. If you do ever meet anyone who's scrolling over to the side, tell them thank you. I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. And now we play the game of let's you and him fight.